Hey guys, it's Talon. Today I'm going to be talking about stopping lane early game in Jace, uh, specifically in the mid lane, but this also works very well in the top lane. Uh, essentially because you have two abilities, level 1 with your range and melee form, Jace is just really, really strong in the level 1 and overall in the early game. Uh, this is the typical build you want to go. You can switch up some things if you prefer. I'm not going to talk super in depth about every uh, build choice, but this is the typical build in runes that I go. And now I'm going to get into just talking about the abilities before we end up getting into the examples. All right, guys, so now for the abilities. So if you don't know how Jace works, Jace ultimate actually makes him switch forms. And so he has two forms. He has his melee form and he has his range form, and they each have different abilities, and obviously one's range and one's melee. First, I'm going to talk about the range form. Your first ability is simply just a thing of damage. It shoots like a little bolt out that does damage. You can increase the damage by clicking it twice, which will activate your third ability. You can either use... First ability twice, or you can use first ability, third ability, they do the same thing. And what that does is it increases the range and damage of the ability like that. You can see there, if I do it again like that, and you can also see that I could click my third ability if I want instead, and it does the same thing. You, or you could click your third ability first and then shoot it through it. Anything works however you want to do it. I find the easiest way to just tap the Q twice, the first ability twice. Your next ability is makes you shoot three consecutive really fast attacks so it's also an auto attack reset and what that means is that you can auto attack click it and then it instantly attacks three times for you really fast another neat thing about this is you can use your second ability and then switch to your melee form and you'll get three fast melee attacks so that's a very important thing to keep in mind as well and again your third ability it increases your range of your uh, first ability and it also if you run through it will give you movement speed it also gives your teammates movement speed and now again, the ultimate will now switch into the melee form. With the melee form, your first ability is simply a jump onto someone that deals damage in a area. So you can damage multiple people in this area and jump onto them like that. Your second ability gives you damage around you. And your third ability knocks back anything that uh, you hit. So you can knock this back. You can also knock back multiple things at once. Um, I'll put a second dummy to show you guys that. You knock back two things at once if they happen to be in range. Um, that's about it. Your passive when you switch uh, attacks or when you switch forms with your ultimate, you gain some movement speed and you also get more damage on your range or melee form on your first auto attack afterwards, uh, which is very important. So yeah, that's it for the video or for not for the video. Sorry. That's it for the uh, abilities. Now we'll get into the specific in-game examples of how to stop early game lane as Jace. Alright guys, so as I said in the intro, I'm just going to be go going over some more like longer examples to kind of show you guys how to lane on Jace and just talk about what I'm thinking. Let me know how you like this structure of video compared to a video that's much more like structured about learn this from this clip, this from this, and, and talking more like um, specifically about a general game, co game concept. Uh, let me know if you prefer that or you prefer me talking about more specific things with champions like for example this video with Jace laning. So now getting into the laning, the best thing to do level 1 as Jace is to go into your melee form, try to use your first ability on top of someone whenever you can, and then immediately switch to your range form after autoing once in your melee form, and you can proc electrocute really easily by using your first ability in your range form after and then autoing. You can see here I did that and I already got him super super low, and this works against almost any champion. Uh, there's very few champions who will beat you at level 1 as Jace, so just abusing this will always get you a very early lead. And now when you get them really low, you want to go to your set, your third ability next because you can poke them out like I did there. I missed, but ideally I would have obviously hit and would be able to poke them out. But if it's a bit of a closer matchup or you're uh, into a champion who you know is going to try to contest you more, then you want to go your second ability second. So here you can see I continue to poke him out so that he can't really get up. And then as soon as he uses his shroud, I'm just going to back up. So I autoed him to bait out his shroud and then I just run away because I know his shroud is the one time where he can actually trade with me. And so now that that's gone, I'm going to look for another trade, but their jungler ends up coming. And I just end up baiting their jungler in because I have such a health advantage that their jungler can't contest me. And I get an easy first blood, or not a first blood, but a kill onto the Xin Zhao. And now for the rest of this lane, I have the advantage on Akali because I'm going to have a gold lead. So I'm going to back and get my Serrated Dirk. And that's going to be a big power spike. Whenever you can get your Serrated Dirk early in lane after getting a kill or something, that's very useful because you're going to see my poke now after I get that. It's going to be very difficult for Akali to do anything and I'm going to be able to zone her off of a lot of farm. You don't always have to kill someone to necessarily get the advantage in lane. Sometimes simply just poking them out and making them have to back and, and lose minions under their tower is enough and you're going to see that's exactly what I end up doing here. And I get a huge lead in Akali because of that. So here I, I was, I think I was reading my chat here so I was distracted, I accidentally went up to the top lane but 
there we, i'll just skip ahead a bit so we go here going back into the mid lane farming again i'm just waiting for a collie i see that they're all in the bot side of the map but i that's why i'm trying to shove here i'm trying to push my wave so i can go help but it was too late my teammate was just a bit too aggressive there but i am shoving the lane here because i want to see if i can potentially help my jungler or help anyone but Akali ends up giving me easy opportunity to poke her, so I just walk up, I poke her, I use my second ability, and I just get them like 1 HP, and now they just lose this entire wave under tower, which is obviously very good for me. I know they're junglers here, but I have Nimbus Cloak and Flash, so I know I can get out and I'll be safe from Zen Zhao ganks, so I'm okay with playing for uh, extra plates and kind of greeting these plates. Zen Zhao comes, I simply knock him back and I run away, and I don't even have to flash. Nimbus Cloak is so so good for this reason. This is why I really recommend you take Nimbus Cloak when you're playing a lane bully in mid lane because it's very easy to avoid ganks because you can either ignite them and run away or you can use your flash and get the move speed and run away as well. But yeah, that's overall what I wanted to show you guys from this lane. I'm up about 1200 gold as you can see now um, just from getting one kill and from zoning Akali off of a lot of farm after I get my serrated Dirk early. So yeah, now let's get into the next clip. Okay, so this next matchup, guys, is going to be a bit more difficult. We're into a Lux, which is still fine for Jace, but the problem is level 2, once the, uh, the Lux has both her third ability and first ability, she's going to be able to root you very easily and get a lot of damage on you. So if you can level 1, you want to try to get a big trade on her like I'm going to do here. So that's why I'm camping in the bush so she doesn't expect me, and then getting a big health advantage there by doing the same combo I was talking about earlier, and we just immediately cheese her down to 1 HP. And this works a lot more than you guys might think. I'm playing... And season reset diamond games, which means I'm playing against mostly Grandmaster players, and I'm doing this against Grandmaster mid laners. So it's definitely actually quite effective of a strategy. Uh, here, then, I'm just going to switch to my third ability on my range form, and I'm going to end up sniping him down there. So, very important understanding which ability to upgrade second. Obviously, there, I upgrade my third ability second because of the fact that I can then poke him out since he's 1 HP. Um, and we get the easy first blood there. Now that I have my Serrated Dirk and he doesn't have an extra item buy, I know that it's going to be very easily to trade with the Lux, so I'm definitely going to try to trade with the Lux in whatever ways I can, um, forcing any types of trades as long as I'm not just jumping under a tower and getting rooted, obviously. Um, I also have to pay attention to jungle here, but since I have my flash up, I can be a bit disrespectful because, again, I have that Nimbus Cloak, which just allows me to run away from most ganks and escape almost anything at least once, so I kind of have one get-out-of-jail-free card. So here I'm just going to get her bone pudding popped i'm gonna try to poke her out and then whenever i can i'm gonna try to all in her because i know that i can win the trade very hard <clears throat> so she's ending up shoving the lane into me and my jungler's coming so i'm fine with this currently i'm gonna end up just shoving it if she ends up backing which is what it's gonna look like is gonna happen after this i'm probably gonna look to get the next wave shoved and then, and then try to poke her out if i can or rotate and help my jungler out just whatever it looks like the best opportunity So yeah, you can see here, I'm just going to walk up. I think I'm going to immediately hit the wave. Yeah, I'm just going to hit it, shove it as soon as fast, or as soon as possible. And then I'm going to have easy time to poke the Lux, because she has no minions to block my poke. Which means I can look for some easy poke onto her. Uh, looks like I'm going to go for a ward instead, though, which is also a good option. When you have lane prio, you can go for things like wards, so you can find their jungler. And then here's when I'm going to end up poking out the uh, Lux, if I can. And then I'm going to try to go all in on her here. Is going to give me a huge health advantage and i'm going to easily be able to deny her an entire wave of farm now because she's not going to be able to farm it under her tower because she's too low and too uh, under the threat of a dive and with a shivana jungle i'm not that worried about getting ganked or anything so i'm just going to get a huge lead here um one from getting the solo kill early on by cheesing her and then two from poking her out with my serrated dirk poke and getting an extra turret plate or two really just getting me a huge advantage to start off this lane phase all right guys so now i'll show you how to use that lead um to get e easy roams off uh when you get the early lead in lane so first we'll just talk about the laning phase here against an ari another matchup that you win but also that is not as easy as some of these other matchups so uh it takes a bit of skill to, to end up beating it but again i'm just gonna do the same cheese i do every single time you guys literally every time i do this i didn't even hit my first ability that time on my range form and i still get the huge advantage there it literally works against almost every champion and it's very simple to pull off Again, here I end up getting poked. I ignite him because I thought my first ability would hit, but I missed it because it hit the minions. So that was unfortunate, but I still have a big health advantage here. I'm going to go my third ability because I know I can possibly poke him out since he's already really low. 
and he's probably just going to be under his tower for a majority of this lane now and because i have him under his tower i have the ability to roam to other parts of the map because i can just quickly shove the lane anytime that i notice that i might need to and then i can easily just uh, roam while he's stuck farming under his tower and he's going to be late on the roams um so later on you'll see how us utilize that for now i'm going to take the fruit because i know that i have a big health advantage so i'm okay with him pushing the lane for a little bit because i can just uh simply push it back in and, and bully him out i don't want to jump onto him because of his charm so i never want to jump too close to his tower so i'm playing this a bit more safe you can see unlike most matchups where i probably would have already just jumped on him again because I, I'm, I'm already at such a health advantage but instead i'm trying to clear the, the minions so that i can get poke like that there I'm um, just trying to get the minions and immediately poke right after so that he doesn't expect me uh, to hit him with it. And now here I notice a fight going on in bot lane, so I'm going to try to shove this lane um, as soon as I can, which is exactly what I do here. Uh, I actually don't shove it quite as fast as I thought I did, but I still end up shoving it, and then I go out and help my bot lane now. And because he has to clear the wave under tower while well, I'm able to just rotate, I'm able to help, help and get us a lot more kills than we otherwise would. Uh, which is just very important using that lane priority that you can get from being such a lane bully like Jace to end up getting some kills on people. You can see here I'm going to go onto the Twitch, I'm going to get him, and we're only going to get the Twitch for now, but I'm going to end up uh, trying to stay around and see if I can potentially bait them into thinking that I left uh, by going into that bush in a second there, and we'll see how that works. Now Ari, you can see here, is now here, um, but I already got a kill, I already got there way faster than her, and she hasn't really provided any value to the fight. This is again what you can do with early game champs, is you can use uh, that lane priority to help other parts of the map it doesn't always have to be just to stomp your own lane although that's always help very helpful typically you want to try to get a lane lead first and then you rotate and help other parts of the map so here now i'm camping and they don't expect it and we get another easy kill on the lucian and it looks like the re already had back there so we get two easy kills from that just snowballing our early lead in the lane um, to other parts of the map using our lane priority to rotate and help out my team and get a couple kills and then help me to snowball the game later on all right guys that's gonna do it for this video again let me know in the comments what you thought of this type of style of video and let me know if you want to see more or what type of stuff you would want to see in the future thanks for watching if you want to subscribe follow my twitch any stuff like that feel free to do that and i'll see you guys later